Hi guys, Mike, and I'm back with my Fisker Ocean 1, and it is Hurricane Day. We got a Hurricane Helene, Helena, Helena, whatever, I don't know. Don't know how to say it, but it looks like Helene, so we're going to go with the American way. Anyway, we're going to talk about 2.2 .2 real quick, my thoughts, and, well, let's just say I've been living with it since pretty much the beginning of the first push thanks to the Fisker Owners Association on allowing me to help all of you uh, figure out some things. And there was 25 of us, it wasn't only myself, but these are my thoughts. So first off, 2.2, the bat, killed this window, killed the doggy window. I paid Sean a visit over at Karma Jacksonville uh, two thumbs up let me give it there two thumbs up to him and val as well as their whole team awesome dealership anyway they have a great staff great equipment state-of-the-art and they connected fast to this baby to see if i could get the california mode going uh to drop everything california mode worked with the exception of this doggy window and that's what i lost when 2.2 .2 was installed even with fast sean was not able to see that doggy window the passenger rear doggy window to get it recalibrated fast didn't even recognize it anymore so something in the over the air push caused that window to no longer even be seen by the computer or by the car so what does that mean uh it's going to be a deeper dive this has to go back to the shop if i really care about that window and we've got to tear apart that panel and connect to that can and see if we can get it to manually operate with a little juice maybe if this window operates and we get it to go down and the motor's good and uh in that state maybe the computer will recognize it these are just a few guesses of course it's all troubleshooting what else so 2.2 it is stable it is drivable i drive it 21 miles one way to work and then 21 miles back of course that makes sense it's a lot of physics Everything seems great in terms of just a daily driver. However, some things that I don't like. Well, the lane keep assist is no longer super aggressive. I used to bounce off the, the lines without holding onto the steering wheel. It would bounce off like pinball. It would not let me cross those lines. And then, uh, now it's a lot softer. Another thing that's a lot softer, the regenerative braking system. Even on the most aggressive setting, the regenerative braking seems like it was toned down quite a bit. That might just be me, but you know, that's my take on it. Some pluses. Well, I really love it seems to have better Bluetooth connectivity. It seems to have a lot smoother operation with the doors opening or the door handles opening and closing one click remote uh, the tone has changed for opening up the rear hatch as well as the lock and unlock functions of the car it's a lot softer you've probably seen my previous video in which i uh, displayed those sounds um, some other things well uh, on the vehicle to load has been uh improved of course you have access to that now we can connect a um a a uh, socket to our high voltage port here and use it to power the house in the event the hurricane comes um we also get access to that 110 outlet in the back super high amperage so great for camping uh, let's see. To me, the sound quality seems to have improved, and I really appreciate that because I love sound. And, um, I'll be honest. 
I don't really notice the dual regenerative braking. It does seem to be a little bit more efficient. And in one of my videos I talked about, uh, or actually it was a post, I talked about how, of course, most of you know already that the miles will not be accurate. The miles displayed at full charge, uh, my miles were, it's saying 350. Well, we know that it should be 360. Some people have theories on this. Some say, well, it's because the wheels, it's compensating for your uh, 22s. Uh, it's compensating for the temperature outside. I don't think it's any of that. I just think they screwed up the formula once again. This is just my opinion because the percentage displayed when I was driving 65 miles an hour, my HVAC was set to 70 degrees Fahrenheit and the ambient temperature was close to the same. It was like 72 at the time. I drove that 21 miles uh, and back and the percentage lost was pretty much equivalent to 360 miles on a 100% charge. That's based on percent only, so state of charge. Take it for a grain of salt. Everyone's gonna have their own reservation about it. I'm not saying anyone's right or wrong. I'm just saying I tend to believe the percent state of charge more than that miles. So that's really my take on 2.2. There is not a whole lot else different. Uh, we were hoping for memory seats. We were hoping for uh, hoping for dual profiles. Um, Sean did try to reflash my car with a completely new 2.2 update, and even that couldn't fix the windows. So uh, there's been a few of us where the doggy window is the sacrifice for 2.2. And it seems to be singular, not both. You lose one. Well, when I figure it out and when we figure it out, I'll let you guys know. Thanks for checking in. Bye.